Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Through Thor's daughter. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Fair enough. Come say hi when you're back. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We can find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. It's 
Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Small bear. Obsidian Ispitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Spohan. The rest of the mask is here. It's where our father dropped us. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Maybe help. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else are they going to Throw you? <laughs> They're young. Moving <laughs> on. Fire! Get your ball already! Get off him! 
you know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. You don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thamor, Ronair, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play it. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. This can't be the way. Whenever you're ready. What the? Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Not in the slightest. 
Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fine. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the Ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. It feels like forever ago. Here's the shrine. Yeah! Oh, can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I, I... I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. 
This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> there a sentient sword huh another marble Surters. no soul in it though so he's still out there somewhere a while back you talked about how the giants left you ever think about them all the time they're far from here far from odin and thor but i wonder what lands they've gone to what seas they've crossed why I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, huh. well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. By the time I finished cut down like wheat, the lava ran red with their blood. Great. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Throod would. She'd be faring better than you, at least.
done that at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Make that impression. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. <laughs> Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. No. no. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki, <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. I used to find Mom's bear rug comforting. Not sure I'll ever think of it the same way now. Hey, you're back! How was it? Did Father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected. I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> huh. 
Hi, Ingrid. Wow, All Father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. You're not thrilled. Did you think that I would be? Well, I, it's pretty... I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms.
who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this? <coughs> That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neithoke? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Sweating bricks on Main Street, and y'all gonna go hit his time right now? Dick, move, move. He isn't coming. What do you need to talk to him for, anyway? Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neithog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible. Just terrible. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimblewinter. Uh, killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. We should get down to the wolves, brother. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? <laughs> Wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son. Nothing more. I don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about the prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. 
That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not a problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Seekrin was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Seekrin helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The wolves lead us here. Quiet. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors. I'm warned. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Incoming fire! Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. 
This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel them. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hell to a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. No. The Nords live in a well. No. The Well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. More stronger falling out of a bloody ground. Certainly the Empress I told you about. 
blamed the gods for the death of her family and has been haphazardly wreaking a vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Norn's home is called the Well of Urn. Let this wait. Stay alert. As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Earth. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts, wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. What of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. The set leads here. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel <laughs> what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. A trap. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That's all of them. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Ragnarok is coming. You're gonna need to stock up. Luckily, I'm offering new items. You won't believe it, Lindy. This crest belongs to Fjotalun. Fjotalun, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Just to circle back and close the book on this time travel rubbish. If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire from above! Come on, Kratos, get up!
of your friends. I didn't tell them. Above you! Incoming fire! Come on, get up, brother! I didn't tell them to be here. Nasty, hey! You all right, brother? <laughs> Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out for cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out. Not a way in. I can turn. The Norns are further up.
Stronger this time. Over here. Always the third place you look. <clears throat> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. Oh! 
different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <sighs> Winded know it all, and I cannot change. See, you forgot smartest man alive. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! The Alpha! Make yourself an opening! Don't waste it! No.
get another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you? Babbling. official. My boy. Balzer, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Balzer, come back! Talk to me! <laughs> Tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought our favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you returned to all! I know secret. It's true. All of it. For the love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Drama? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful men who used them! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent guy in need and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! It's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! No. Uh. 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 
the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. Are you 
but you awesome. called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs>
Kratos, I see something. I think we're missing the known's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. How would Atreus get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. the person sees their intention my intent will be to kill him knowing that will be no advantage brother this is no one to underestimate any move you make he'll have seen it coming if you must face him we need something else an edge humor me very well we will ask the dwarves ah the inevitable asking of the dwarves Sir, could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, 
I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of lean worms will be a walk in the park. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? About Nithog, you should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Journey forth in health and safety, my friends. Hi, right, take the hint. They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir.